us. And Armando, we saw him previously pull out the Meta Knight. Now we're seeing the snake. Yeah, we're seeing the snake, that red color. I like it. The red camo. Yeah. So you can blend in with a... Uh, <laughs> fire? I don't fire. Know. If, he's, if, if ever he's in hell, the devil's not going to spot him. Two links fire arrows. Yes. It's fireproof. Okay. But okay. This, so, this is going to be like this, definitely an artillery kind of match. Yeah. This is uh, a lot of explosions, a lot but, of hitting yourself, that kind of thing. But I will say Zan, uh, I can't speak for Armando Snake yet, but I've seen Zan's Toon Link, and it, it is very, very aggressive. Like more so than you would expect out of a Toon Link, or Young Link rather, sorry. All right. We're going to see a lot of explosions. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm telling you, it's like an airstrike the whole time. All right. Couple up airs. Oh, picks it up. Okay. Wow. Amato's got to be careful with his, with his uh, grenades now. Because of that. He's yeah. getting to a percent where this is like super dangerous for him. Yeah, look, if he gets hit by one of his own grenades and stuff, like, he's getting shot at a disadvantage for sure. Right now, man. Zan's been doing a really good job of uh, just holding down center and not, not allowing Armando to move an inch. Yeah. The, the thing about Snake is that you kind of put yourself in disadvantage a lot. Cause just because of the way that grenades work, like, you know. Oh, oh the Nikita Snake! Yes. <laughs> Alright, so the way that grenades work, like, you kind of have to place them on top of yourself all the time. Yeah. And so you're always losing stage every time you pull a grenade and you, like, roll away. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. And especially when you're up against, like, a young Link who, uh, oh, not gonna be it. Oh, oh. what a jump! Caught him out. Yeah, that was a really good call out from uh, Cookie Slayer. Yeah, I really, I really like the double jump. It, it basically, I'm, was saying like if you up be here, if you double jump here, you got nowhere to go. That's kind of the thing with Toon Link. Like he does have confirms off his projectiles, or Young Link rather, uh, does have uh, confirms off his projectiles. Uh, but a lot of the times you have to make a play. Like you have to call out a jump. You have to land a smash attack. That time the Nikita's not going to do it. Oh, Mondo. And that bomb there is so, so good. It's just really good for reclaiming stage, you know, if they're right in front of you. Oh, that's scary. Oh, Tracking okay. him down. That, that's the thing, right? Like, Snake can cover himself with that, too. So if you, what the, if you try to, if you try to go and get him, like, sometimes you just die. The maneuverability is pretty wild. Oh, wow. That was a really good wait. <laughs> that was Armando. really good. That was nuts. Okay, we're, we're pretty much dead even. Oh, no, 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 C4. Don't was step there, don't step there. No, that's C4. Okay, yeah, yeah, That's the thing, like, in this matchup, when when you have uh, grenades, C4s, bombs, arrows, projectiles, Nikitas, all active at once, yeah. it's easy to like lose track of one C4 and suddenly you're dead. I lost track of it, so did Cookie Slayer. Oh, that's it. Off the boomerang. One stock apiece. Cookie Slayer able to confirm that into an F air. 33% has one bomb confirmed. Yeah. The story of this match so far is like they've been trading, 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 and then Armando is able to get like the first laugh, right? Like able to take the stock first. So when you're in that position, that Cookie Slayer is in right now, like, okay, I've been trailing this entire time. Uh, this last stock is nerve breaking. It's hard pounding. This, you have to. Yeah, this, this last stock, like the explosions have just gone the way of Armando this whole time. I feel I feel oh. like no, nothing in particular has really changed other than the explosions. Are oh, up to the shield! Gonna do he got it. hit by like the heel. <laughs> dude, that was the stiletto, dude. That, that was he got hit by like his back calf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very specific. Snake does not skip leg day. I, I mean, yeah. I guess in brawl he was hitting the legs. Have a you seen him down there? Yeah, sure. No, show me anybody else with that dexterity. No, there's no one else. It's a solid snake. Maybe like Kobe Bryant or something. Just not, those not, two. not today. They used to hang out, you know, Kobe and No, they didn't. Because Snake is a fictional character slip. So let's go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Young Link. Yeah, I think we're running it straight back to the stadium, but I'm not sure. Yeah, we're seeing both guys uh, go right back to it. Um, it seemed like, like the thing about Snake is he's able to trade in the projectile war with Young Link uh, very often. You know, he's able to come out like smelling like a rose. And also, he has a lot more reliable kill options. You know, he can, he can C4, he can up tilt, a lot of his aerials. Right. You know, and he, so, he so has to confirm off the down down throw tech chase. Yeah, something to know about Snake is that sometimes he'll turn his back to you and pull a grenade and then just hold shield. The reason why is because if you hit him, 
while he's holding the grenade. If you if your hitbox hits the grenade, you'll blow up the grenade. And so that way, if you angle yourself, like, because the way he holds it, he kind of holds it behind him a bit. Right. You'll make it so that when they go try to hit you, they hit that grenade instead. I'll kind of get a trade in that manner. Sure. He did. He did. Oh, wow. Oh, yo, he threw a bomb at it and then sliced it, and that thing was still <laughs> flying. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, that's too deep. Oh, yeah. what the? How did he not get hit by that, though? I have no idea how he didn't get hit by that. He did like a between the legs kind of like. Maybe that was some high access stuff? Kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Grenade saving him. Oh, He's yeah, Bear. Yeah, dude, that's definitely one thing that, uh, you know, this, this young lady's been able to do is call out those like, high lofty recoveries from Snake. Okay. All right. See this? Yes, dude. That sends at like such a good an angle. That's so crazy. Yeah. That moves really good. And yeah, like Amato hasn't been getting a, like, a whole bunch of mileage off and off stage in that game one. But game two seems to be like really what he's able to capitalize on. Yeah, even just the threat of it has been a big part of this. Okay. Wow. Man, dude, this is the Armato show right now. He's has so much momentum. It seems like Cookie's just unable to get any projectiles in whatsoever. Couple jabs. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. He tried to punish the roll in there, but he's got Cookie staying safe. Okay. Oh, I'm still going to trade. And that way, Armato going to take it 2-0. Uh, looking real solid. Uh, game two, it just seemed like he wasn't getting hit by the ticky tat damage that Cookie yeah. Slayer was throwing out. And was able to just hold it down and uh, take those stocks much earlier than Cookie Slayer was able to do. If you blow up your opponent more than they blow you up, it usually works. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what we Most saw. wars have been won in such a fashion.